Let's take a look at how to use the online help built into Student Manager. You can start the online help in two ways. The first is when you're in Student Manager is to go up to help and then click on the help link. This will start your browser and bring up the online help in a browser window. The second way to bring up the help is to go directly to the web to the ACEWARE website. So www.aceware.com. When you're on our website, you can then go to support and down to where it says student manager online help. Both ways take you to the same online help system. Why is the help online? Online help allows us to make changes quicker for everyone. Using help is fairly straightforward. Help is divided into books and pages. I can go to the left hand side of the screen and I can see contents and browse. Each of these tabs has books and pages in it. Contents and browse are different only in the way they organize the information. I'm going to use the contents tab. As I look down I have different books that are different chapters on the help. So for example if I click on the quick start book I can look down and see the different pages of help. When I click on these pages, information appears to the right that I can read and learn about Student Manager. Sometimes there's other links within that help that I can click on to drill deeper into the help and get even more detailed information. If you look at the bottom of this help page, I'm in navigation tools right now, you occasionally will find occasionally you will find a link to related topics. These are help topics that are related to the topic you're on. So right now I'm on navigated navigation tools and the related topics are other other controls and help topics related to navigation. At the top of the screen I have back and forward arrows. These allow me to navigate back to the last page I was on or to navigate to the next page if I've already gone back a page. So by using these tools it is very easy for me to move around the help. If I know the name of what I'm looking for I could search for it. For example, let's say I need help on the function big state. I could go up here into the search box and type in big state. When I click the enter key on my keyboard, it will return all the help files that have the word big state in it. I can then click on any of these underlying links and, and drill down into the help files. Let's take a look at some cool things that are available to you in help. One of the first things is the screen layout tool. If I look in my books under content, you'll see one that says screen layout. When I click on that book, the different pages will actually so show me a visual representation of the various screens. If I look, I can hover my mouse over any field on those representations and it will give me the name of that field. Uh, the technical name of that field. In fact, if I click on the field, it'll give me all the information about that field. I can also click on the buttons that are represented and get more information about what is in or behind that button. This is really helpful for when you're making or editing a report and you need to know the exact field name for the report. It's also, the screen layout tool is helpful when you're trying to learn how to use Student Manager. Another useful tool is to go up to Quick Start and look at, not screen layout, but the shortcut keys. This is a major list of all the shortcut keys available in Student Manager. 
what you will find is once you get comfortable using Student Manager, you can use shortcut keys to speed things up and to access shortcuts that save you time and effort. There's tons of shortcut keys available and they're all laid out for you under Quick Start, Student Manager, and Shortcut Keys. Finally, I recommend that everyone spend some time looking under the Tips and Tricks book underneath Contents. Here you will find different pages of tips and tricks for how to operate and use the various areas within Student Manager. It's worthwhile to spend some time in this section. That's all that there is to it. Good luck.